Hey, that's Jill. How are you? I uh, hope you're doing fine. Uh, this is, I'm reading through Samson's sketchbook. I drew uh, little sketches of the book of Judges. Not all the book of Judges, just Samson, the story of Samson. So he just had a big, Samson had, let's recap. Samson had a big battle, uh, killed how many people? A thousand? Then afterwards, threw the jawbone down. He called it Jawbone Hill. He said, I'm so thirsty. God, you've given me a great victory, but I'm so thirsty. Am I going to die and go in the hands of the Philistines? Help me. So God split the hollow place that is in Lehi, and water came out, and he drank, and his spirit returned, and he revived. Strength came back, and... He felt better. He will, and then he said, I will call it the fountain of him that called or prayed. So he's going to call this fountain En Hakor. En Hakor, Hebrew language. En Hakor is still in Lehi to this day. So Samson judged Israel for 20 years. And then he went to Gaza. Saw a harlot there. He went into her. Samson visited the harlot. The people of Gaza, when the people of Gaza heard this, they're like, okay, let's go get Samson. At the gate of the city, they lay in wait outside to, to attack Samson, to ambush him. Wait till daylight and we'll get Samson. Surprise attack on Samson in the ambush. And Samson lay low. He hid out of sight till 12 a.m. midnight, the middle of the night. Then he rose at midnight and took hold of the doors of the gate of the city and the two gates and pulled them up, bar in the all. So he's super strong. And I guess he walked away from the Gazites. He put them on his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill. Sorry. That faces Hebron. I like my little city right there. City of Hebron. He brought it, carried it, the post to the top of the mountain. And then he fell in love with Delilah. So we always hear Samson and Delilah. Judges 16, 5. And the lords of the Philistines came up to her. The Philistine lords came up to Delilah. I'm just going to shift my weight, move around. Uh... And said, entice him and find out where his great strength lies and by what means we may overpower him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And every one of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. 1,100. 1,100 pieces of silver are yours if you find out where strength comes from. I don't know if Delilah was a Philistine or she was, this time, seems like she's after money. Um... So try to seduce Samson. Samson, honey, why? Are, how are you so strong? How can you be overpowered? Let me tell you my secrets, Delilah. So the Philistines, I think it's the Philistines say, entice Samson. Let make him tell you his secrets. She said, "Okay, I'll do it." And I don't know if she was Philistine or not. Philistina, Philistine. Anyway, she's going to do this for money. Judges 16, 6. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength lies and with what you may be bound to afflict you. Tell me your secret. Where does your great strength come from and how can you be tied up? How is this happening? And Samson said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings not yet dried, if Samson is tied with seven wet cords, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Samson tells Delilah, If you tie me with seven wet cords, I think those are new, not, not dry. If I'm bound with seven fresh cords, I'll be weak like any other man. So I'll be weak just like any other guy. George, Tom, I will be a normal guy. 
Judges 16, 8. So the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, yet dried. The Philistine lords bring her up some bowstring. So she's probably secretly telling them, hey, go get me this. Samson said this is how I lose my strength. And she bound him with them. She bound the new ropes onto Samson. Maybe he was asleep, I'm not sure. Now men were lying in wait, staying with her in the room, and she said to them, to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he's tied up, maybe he was asleep. And the Philistines are hiding in the other room. And Delilah says, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. Judges sixty nine, but he broke the bowstrings. Samson broke free of the cords. Snap. As a strand of yarn breaks when it touches fire. The cords broke like yarn touching fire. So yarn is... Oh, I should show you some yarn. Um, but it's... You maybe knit a, blank, a blanket with yarn. It snapped very easily. Kind of like a string. So the cords broke like yarn touching fire. Snap. So the secret of his strength was not known. Samson's secret remains unknown. Delilah looks sad here. Judges 16.10. Then Delilah said to Samson, Look, you have mocked me. Ha ha ha. Samson makes fun of Delilah and told me lies. Samson lied to Delilah, not telling her the truth. Now please tell me what you may be bound with. How can Samson be tied up? Come on, tell me. Delilah tells Samson. Samson's made a fool out of Delilah, according to Delilah. She's like, stop making a fool out of me. Just tell me. So he said to her, Judges 16, 11, If they bind me securely with new ropes that have never been used, I got these new ropes that have never been used, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Samson will become weak like any other man. George, Tom, Samson will be just like everybody else. He will lose his strength if you tie him with new ropes. Therefore, Delilah took new ropes and bound him with them. So she tied Samson up with new ropes. I don't know why she's doing this or how she is doing this. Maybe he's asleep. Or she gave him some kind of drug or something. Or wine, alcohol. Judges 16, 12, and said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. Here they are, Samson and Delilah and the Philistines who were hiding. And men were lying in wait, staying in the room, but he broke them off his arms like a thread. He broke free again. The ropes broke like a thread. So I'm going to get some thread, some yarn, even maybe some bowstrings, and talk about the different ways Samson was tied up. Judges sixteen thirteen. Delilah said to Samson, Until now you have mocked me and told me lies. Tell me what you may be bound with. Come on, Samson. How could you how could someone tie you up? Or how can someone tie you up? He was saying both ways. And he said to her, Okay, I'll tell you. If you weave, weaving in and out the seven locks of my head into the web of the loom. A loom is a device used to weave. So if you weave the seven locks of my head into the web of the loom, maybe that's what they did in the olden days, braided their hair like that. I'll lose my power if you do this, if you weave my head. Hair. Judges sixteen nineteen. So while he was sleeping, she wove his hair tightly with the batten of the loom. I don't know what a batten is. I had to look it up. So, And said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. The Philistines are here. So the batten must be some kind of tool to weave hair. But he woke from his sleep and pulled out the batten and web from the loom. But he woke from his sleep and pulled out the batten and web from the loom. Maybe it's like a braid. He pulled it out of his hair. Still had a lot of strength. Judges sixteen fifteen. Then she said to him, How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? Samson's heart is not with her. 
You have mocked me three times and have told me where your great strength lies. She asked him where he gets his strength three times and she he hasn't told her. You do not love me. You do not love Delilah. You, how can you say you love me? I mean, you haven't told me how you are lose your strength. Judges 16, 16. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily with her words. Every day, Delilah's father Samson nags him. Tell me, tell me, tell me. And pressed him. Tell me. Her words pressed him so much so that his soul was vexed to death. Maybe he's like, I just want to die. She's, she's nagging me so much. That he finally told her all his heart. He finally told her everything. Okay, I'll tell you, Samson tells Delilah. It was hard to draw Samson and Delilah with the same hair, but hopefully you know. <laughs> so she nags him so much, she, he told her everything. Judges 16, 17, and he said to her, No razor has ever come upon my head. My hair cannot be cut. And there's a little razor, scissors. For I have been a Nazarite from my mother's womb. I have always been a Nazarite. In my mother, in my mom's uterus, my mom's womb, baby Samson has always been a Nazarite, special, special person set aside to God. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave. No more strength. So if you shave my head, I will have no more strength. Judges 16, 18. Is he telling the truth? And Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart. Yay, he's told me everything. She's looking at him. He told her his heart. She sent a messenger. She sent, said go. She sent a messenger and called for, I'll just say, she sent and called for the Lord, lords of the Philistines. Come up once more for he has told me all his heart. They didn't have phones back there, but you get the idea. Delilah sent a messenger out. Come back. Tell the Philistines to come back one more time. He has told me everything. Yay, he's told me. Judges sixteen eighteen. So the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hand. Here's your silver. 1,100 pieces, right? The Philistine lords and Delilah. Here's your silver. Then she lulled him to sleep on her knees. Go to sleep, my love. Lull is like, go to sleep. It's a little lullaby. Lullaby and good night. Go to sleep, little baby. I mean, go to sleep, Samson. Then she lulled him to sleep on her knees and called for a man. Get him. Called for a man and had him, Judges sixty nineteen and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Sleeping Samson, shave his head. Sorry, the invisible guy is shaving his head with an electric shaver, but you get the point. Shave his head. Then she began to torment him. She humiliated him and subdued him. She beat him and his strength left him. She didn't beat him. She bet beat him sp spiritually or beat his soul. He, she humiliated him and subdued him. His strength left. Oh, my darn Clothes are done. And we'll finish this up. Judges 1620. And she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. Hey, wake up. So he woke up from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. Samson will escape like he always does. But he did not know that the Lord departed from him. He didn't know God had left. God stopped helping Samson. Then the Philistines took him and put his eyes out. Well, let's talk about that next time. I just wanted to read about Samson and Delilah and their love story or hate story. And we'll read what happens next.